Hi, my name is Felicia Fick. I'm a physician assistant in the Division of Urogynecology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I have the great opportunity in enjoying seeing females every day to discuss pelvic floor disorders. What does this mean? It means bladder control and pelvic organ prolapse. Today, I will focus on bladder control problems, as I already have a video on pelvic organ prolapse. Feel free to view that as well. Urinary incontinence is leakage of urine outside of normal voiding, and that is out of your control. If you have this, you are not alone, as it is very common. Over half the population has this. Here at Mayo Clinic, we have dedicated groups of providers in a specialized clinic specifically aimed at evaluating and treating women with this common disease. I purposely use the word disease because urinary leakage is not a normal part of aging, as many women believe. It is very common, but it's not normal and you don't have to suffer with this. It's important to know that we can help you with treatment options. The two main types of urinary incontinence are stress and urge. Stress incontinence is usually associated with activities, exercising, coughing, laughing, lifting. A weak urethral sphincter is the cause of this. Many risk factors are being pregnant, vaginal deliveries, genetics, and aging. A variety of treatment options for stress incontinence include doing Kegel exercises on your own, pelvic floor physical therapy, vaginal electrical stimulation, pessaries, as well as over-the-counter products called poison pressa, which are kind of like tampons. Urinary urge incontinence is also very common and it's called overactive bladder. With this, the bladder contracts on its own and causes leakage of urine. It is often accompanied by a sudden, strong urge to void before you can make it to the toilet. Most of the treatment options for this are non-surgical. Avoiding dietary irritants has been helpful in many women with overactive bladders. Doing Kegel exercises or seeing a physical therapist can be very helpful to strengthen your pelvic floor and give you better bladder control through urge suppression. You can also take medications, and usually these are minimal as far as side effects with dry mouth and constipation being the top two indications, but it is safe to use. If you wanna try surgery, Botox injections into the bladder or inner stem are also options. In October of 2014, we started a new therapy in our division called E-STEM therapy. It stands for electrical stimulation to the vaginal wall. A probe like the size of a tampon is placed in the vagina and electricity is delivered in very small dosages to help strengthen the muscles as well as to help symptoms of urinary urgency, frequency, and leakage of urine. Typically, we have an 80% success with this, with no side effects. If you're interested in appointment, you can certainly call 507-538-8400, and you can do this yourself. No physician referral is necessary. Thanks for joining me.